In 2050, there will be a projected 10 billion people on this planet. The ways in which we currently produce, consume and distribute food are threatening nature and the climate, which also risks undermining future food security. What can we do? Making agriculture more productive and regenerative is one of many actions we must take to transform our food and land use systems. But what does regenerative agriculture mean? Although a universal definition doesn't exist, regenerative agricultural practices generally aim to improve soil health. These practices can also enhance water infiltration and storage and increase the resilience of farms while reducing reliance on chemical inputs. Farmers across the world already practice regenerative techniques such as planting cover crops, adding crop diversity and integrating trees onto farms. But in a world that needs to feed more people while stopping deforestation and halting climate change and biodiversity loss, it's not enough to know that certain practices are being used. We also need to know if these practices are helping to make progress against these important outcomes. Research shows that regenerative agricultural practices can increase biodiversity and soil carbon on farms, but with varying effects on overall greenhouse gas emissions and on yields of food per hectare. What are the next steps? To better understand how regenerative agricultural practices can benefit people and planet, more research is needed and we must learn from farmer experiences and base data gathering on their needs as well as those of society. Shifting to regenerative practices won't be enough on its own. New technologies such as precision agriculture to boost yields and reduce the use of water or fertilizers and feed supplements to lower methane from livestock will also be necessary. And so will tackling food loss and waste and shifting to healthier and more sustainable diets. There is hope for a more resilient, sustainable and equitable food system and everyone can play a part.